Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to talk about bone remodeling or bone turnover. This is a very important university question. Um by the end of this lecture, I expect you guys to at least define the uh term bone remodeling and bone turnover, enumerate the steps of bone remodeling and you should be able to discuss them in detail. uh bone remodeling and bone or bone turn over basically is the process by which the overall size and shape of the bone is established and it is referred to as bone modeling bone modeling basically extends from early embryonic <coughs> bone development to the pre adult period of the human growth and by this process the eventually the overall shape and size of the bone is established so for example for instance <clears throat> when a baby is born or in a child the size and shape of the mandible is different as compared to in the adult so how does the child develop over time that particular shape of the mandible and size and shape as he or she approaches the adulthood all of this is basically happening by the process of bone remodeling <clears throat> during the bone remodeling bone is rapidly forming at the periosteal surface as i've already mentioned that at the periosteal surface of the bone generally bone deposition is happening but not it is osteo periosteal surface is not exclusive for bone uh deposition sometimes there could be bone resorption at this surface but generally uh most of the formation that is happening is happening as at the periosteal surface and simultaneously at the endosteal surface the bone is being destroyed or resorbed also at some focal areas of the periosteal surface resorption is happening and within the osteons of the compact bone uh resorption is happening which leads to the formation of the interstitial lamellae so at the <clears throat> periosteal surface particularly bone deposition is happening whereas at the endosteal surfaces at focal regions of the periosteal surface and within the osteons of the compact bone bone resorption or destruction of the bone is happening at all times because the bone greatly increases in its thickness and length during growth bone formation occurs at a much greater rate than the bone resorption basically in an individual the bone is not resorbing as often as it is forming so bone formation is occurring at a much larger rate as compared to the resorption of the bone and largely the thickness uh, the increase in the thickness and the length of the bone that happens with age during growth is happening by the process of bone remodeling this process of the replacement of old bone by the new bone is called bone turnover or remodeling this is a very important um terminology that you should be able to define and the easiest definition for remodeling or turnover is that <clears throat> the replacement of old bone by new bone is called the bone turnover or bone remodeling most of the bones that um the uh that at young age at an individual has they grow by the process of bone remodeling as i mentioned uh, the example of the uh, mandible uh this process of bone remodeling is basically tightly controlled to ensure a tight balance between the processes of bone resorption and bone deposition and this tight control between these two processes of resorption and deposition are referred to as coupling so basically during the process of bone remodeling obviously at one side bone resorption is happening and at the other side bone deposition is happening and these two processes are a uh, very tightly balanced to make sure that there is net bone formation whenever 
there is um a lag or there is a fault in this coupling or this tight control and bone resorption is not being balanced by bone deposition that would lead to uh, pathological conditions like osteoporosis so coupling make sure that there is a balance between the processes of resorption and deposition during the bone remodeling the process of bone remodeling uh is a sequenced process and it occurs um it it consists of basically four main phases that starts from the resting phase so we have the resting stage or the resting state followed by the resorption state or the resorption phase that is followed by the reversal phase then is the formation phase and then back to the resting phase so these are the four uh, phases that uh, are included due in the bone remodeling process starting with the resorption as the name says resorption phase um, is the phase during which the uh, destruction or the resorption of the bone is happening has to happen and what do we need for the resorption of bone we need the bone resorbing cells which are osteoclasts so basically during the resorption phase uh these um, osteoclasts they are migrated they are recruited migrated to the region where the bone re remodeling has to occur at the bone resorption site and at that site after the recruitment and migration to their site they are activated to cause the bone resorption these osteoclasts at the resorption site could be activated automatically when they come into contact with the mineralized bone surface and they begin the resorption initially therefore any lining cell or a covering on the bone mineralized bone surface that could be a um, an osteoblast lining or the bone lining cell they have to get out of the way they have to be retracted or migrated away from the surface of the bone to expose the bone surface in order for the osteoclast to come and attach to that bone surface and start their function which is uh, resorption so following this removal or um migration or retraction of the osteoclasts and the bone lining cells from the bone surface the next step is to remove any osteoid layer that is present on the bone surface and how is this happening osteoblasts and bone lining cells basically have been implicated in this function of removal of any osteoid present on the bone surface and these cells possibly they are believed to release enzymes like matrix metalloproteinase 1 that helps in the degradation of any osteoid present on the bone surface and all of these molecules that or enzymes that are released to degrade the osteoid layer from the mineralized bone surface these molecules are believed to be chemotactic for the uh, attraction of the osteoclasts towards the exposed bone surface so in the first step of the bone resorption the osteoclasts have to reach the surface and how is how are these osteoclasts reaching the surface and how are they um proceeding on with their function that is resorption this basically is happening by the help of the osteoblasts and the lining cells on the bone surface the osteoclasts need to have a clean mineralized bone surface to which they can attach and uh get activated and start their resorption resorptive function so in order for the resorptive function or the resorption to initiate the bone lining cells from the bone surface have to uh, be migrated away 
and then the osteoid layer has to be removed and this happens with the help of the enzymes like matrix metalloproteinases that are released by the osteoblast and the bone lining cells themselves they help the in the degradation of the osteoid once the osteoid has degraded the similar enzymes they uh behave uh, or they um are believed to be chemotactic for the osteoclast and then they attract the osteoclast to that region and in this manner the osteoclasts reach that region and they start their function which is their which is the osteoclastic resorption basically whenever an osteoid within the compact bone is resorbing by the action of the osteoclasts in that region of the osteoid a resorptive canal or a resorptive channel is formed and that resorptive channel under microscope is recognized by a uh, numerous um by the presence of numerous uh, resorptive lacunae in a row kyunki wahan pe obviously um uh, resorptive activity on here and those lacunae they are filled with the osteoclasts and in that particular region bone resorption is happening so we call that region um uh, of the resorption the leading edge of the resorption is called the cutting cone so this is how the initial cutting cone of the resorptive osteoclastic resorption is formed and this cutting cone it moves along the central canal of an osteon at about 50 micrometer per day resorbing all of the osteons that come its way followed by uh, this basically this cutting zone is followed by uh, a closing zone where the osteoblasts come and fill the um, now closing zone and they Uh, start depositing the bone there new bone there so basically let me show you a figure this figure here shows the oh let me get a highlighter sorry this figure here shows the resorptive activity why do i not get a good highlighter Let me change the color of the highlighter. Okay, so this is the uh, cutting cone, basically, or the uh, resorption region, and you can appreciate uh, many resorptive lacunae here, which have the, which house the osteo. clasts so whenever the bone has to resorb or bone resorbs the first step is the resorption and that involves the migration and the activation of osteoclasts in that region for that the uh, bone lining or the osteoblast cells from the bone surface have to be removed and then these osteoblasts they secrete enzymes which remove the osteoid layer that helps in the attachment of the osteoclasts to the uh, exposed bone surface which then uh, proceeds with the resorption these osteoclasts they are attracted by uh, they are believed to be attracted by the uh, enzymes released by the osteoblasts or the bone lining cells once these osteoclasts they come to the um, resorption site they attach to the exposed get attached to the exposed bone surface and as a result they start the uh, their resorptive activity जिस भी रीजन के अंदर ये रिजॉप्टिव एक्टिविटी स्टार्ट होती है वहाँ पे एक रिजॉप्टिव चैनल बन जाता है ऑब्वियसली इफ इट इज़ अ लेमुलर बोन तो इट वुड बी इन एन ऑस्टियन दैट ऑस्टियन पर्टिकुलरली बिकम्स द रिजॉप्टिव चैनल एंड दिस इज हाउ द रिजॉप्टिव चैनल इज रेकग्नाइज बाय बाय बेसिकली लीडिंग और रो ऑफ um uh, osteoclasts residing in the um uh, resorptive lacunae so this recognizes or this is the um leading cutting cone of the osteon this leading cutting cone proceeds wherever the resorption has to occur so in an adult laminar bone the cutting cone or the resorption is happening at uh 
about 50 micrometer per day behind this cutting cone a closing cone is following it and that closing cone consists of many osteoblasts where they, these osteoblasts uh, would now fill the resorbed bone regions with new bone between the resorption and the formation of new bone there is a change over from resorption to deposition and that change over is basically characterized by the formation of a reversal line also called the uh, cement line this cement line or reversal line is produced by the same osteoblasts that have to secrete the bone and this line basically acts as an adhesive between the old mineralized bone and the new bone that forms over it this reversal line is rich in uh, osteopontin and acid phosphatases so after resorption the next step is the formation of uh, reversal line or reversal reversal means reversal from the osteoclastic activity to the osteoblastic activity how is this reversal happening reverse in the reversal phase the cessation of the resorption and the disappearance of the osteoclasts occur mainly by the apoptosis of the osteoclasts or migration of these osteoclasts and the site now becomes occupied by the mononuclear cells that have to form the bone. The precise signals responsible for causing the uh, apoptosis or the cessation of the uh, osteoclasts and resorption and a reversal from the osteoclastic activity to osteoblastic differentiation and the activation of bone formation is not precisely known so we do not know what ac exactly happens that reverses the osteoclastic uh, bone resorption to the osteoblastic bone formation however it is believed that when the osteoclasts they resorb the uh, bone when the bone matrix it uh, resorbs certain growth factors that were initially bound within the matrix they become exposed or they become activated by the re by that process of resorption and they lead or they uh, help in this reversal from the osteoclastic activity to the osteoblastic activity and the example for certain growth factors are the BMPs and IGFs that are believed to be released from the bone when the bone is uh, resorbed by the osteoclast these bone morphogenetic proteins and IGFs are believed to stimulate the osteoblastic function whereas there are certain enzymes uh, sorry growth factors like TGF beta uh, they are believed to be released from the bone alongside the BMPs and IGF and the TGF beta basically inhibits the osteoclastic activity and stimulates the osteoblastic activity so these growth factors are basically they were caught up in the bone matrix initially but by the action of the osteoclast and the bone resorption they are now liberated and they have um, control over stimulating osteoclastic uh, uh, blastic activity and inhibiting the osteoclastic activity so these are believed to uh, play a very important role in the reversal so behind the cutting cone as I mentioned there is a migration uh, of the mononucleated cells the, the macrophages or pre osteoblast onto the newly roughened bone surface by the osteoclasts now as the pre osteoblast they differentiate into the osteoblasts on the uh, now uh, bone uh, forming surface they deposit onto the newly resorbed surface a thin layer of non collagenous matrix proteins which is rich in acid phosphatase and osteopontin termed as the cement line or the reversal line as i said this layer is composed of bone cielo protein osteopontin and acid phosphatases it acts as a cohesive layer between the mineralized old bone layer and the newly formed bone layer that is that will be formed on top of the cement line by these 
same osteoblasts. So what happens is, let me show you in the figure. Let me get a highlighter. During the reversal, obviously, in the similar zone where um, cutting happened or the bone resorption happened, now the osteoblasts come to occupy that zone. How do the osteoblasts are coming to occupy this? It is believed that the resorbed bone hai, usme se kuch aise growth factors release hote hai, jo osteoblastic activity ko um, favor karte hain aur osteoclastic activity ko inhibit karte hain aur phir yahan pe migration of uh, osteoblasts hoti hai basically in mononuclear cells these pre osteoblasts when they uh, convert or differentiate into osteoblasts they deposit a layer of cement or a reversal line between the newly resorbed bones so here they deposit a cement line or the reversal line between the old bone, ye niche sari old bone hai, aur uske upar yahan par sari new bone resorb, uh, deposit hogi aur yehi osteoblasts wo deposit karenge. So basically the cement line that these osteoblasts deposit first is rich in osteo, bone sialoprotein and osteopontin and it is believed to act as a cohesive between the old mineralized uh, bone layer that is not um, resorbed and the new bone that will form over the cement line so this is how the reversal is happening and this is how the cement line forms the definition of cement line is very important the next step after the formation after the reversal is obviously the formation for the formation the osteoblasts recruit migrate and differentiate and they start forming the new bone within the resorption site the entire area of the osteon where active bone form, uh, formation occurs is now termed as the filling cone So, pehle jahan jahan cutting cone jo hai wo cut kar raha tha bone ko destroy kar raha tha uske piche piche formation hoti ja rahi hai filling cone aati ja rahi hai jahan par osteoblasts hain aur wo jahan jahan se bone resorb ho rahi hai wahan pe bone new bone fill karte aa rahe hain as the formation proceeds some of the osteoblasts that are forming the bone they become entrapped within the matrix and they become the osteocytes and when the formation is complete the hevosian canal contains a central vessel um, containing the blood vessels and a layer of inactive osteoblasts line that and the lining cells of the bone by means of their cellular processes they communicate with the osteocytes and that is how the bone um, has uh, the information about its local micro environment so this is how the adult lamellar bone resorbs the next step is the resting and the resting is when the bone formation has been completed and the surface of the bone newly formed bone is lined by the flattened cells called the bone lining cells so this is all about the uh, bone remodeling the first step in bone remodeling was resorption this figure here uh, the figure on the top basically shows the longitudinal section uh, of how a Hervergian system uh, goes through the four phases of remodeling cycle and the figure below shows the cross section of the uh, similar Hervergian system corresponding to the appearance of the four main phases of the remodeling so the first step is resorption where osteoclasts are migrated and they resorb the bone surface the next is this is called the cutting cone where the osteoclasts are cutting the old bone okay the next step is the reversal where the osteoclasts are inhibited and the osteoblasts migrate and they secrete the reversal line or the cement line which form which acts as a cohesive the next step is the formation of the let me get a highlighter the next step is the formation where you have this layer of osteo, uh, active osteoblasts that are actively forming the new bone. If you look at this section, if you look at this section, you can see this old bone and how many osteoclasts are here that are resorbing the bone. Then if you can appreciate this whole resorbed region of the bone. Here all the bone is resorbed and here are osteoblasts and they will secrete a cement line here. Here will be cement line secrete. Okay? ये इधर अपने इधर सेमेंट लाइन से ट्रीट करेंगे एंड देन इवेंचुअली 
ऑल ऑफ द बोन हैज बिन सिक्रीटेड जो भी रिजॉर्व हुई थी सो यू हैव द सेंट्रल हवोजन कैनाल विच हैज दैसल और ये साइड पे ऑस्टियोब्लास्ट हैं जो जिन्होंने ये सारा रीजन ऑफ बोन सिक्रेट कर लिया है दिस इज द फॉर्मेटिव फेज वंस द बोन फॉर्मेशन हैज बिन कम्प्लीटेड यू हैव अ सेंट्रल कैनाल एंड द होल ऑफ द ऑस्टियन सिस्टम देन इवेंचुअली वेन द बोन फॉर्मेशन हैज कम्प्लीटेड द दिस सेंट्रल हवर्जन कैनाल इज लाइन बाई दीज बोन लाइनिंग सेल्स और ये आपको नजर आ रहा है कि सेंट्रल हवर्जन कैनाल है यहाँ पे फ्लैटन सेल्स लाइन करें न्यूली फॉर्म बोन सर्फिस को दीज आदा बोन लाइनिंग सेल्स और ये सारी आपकी यहाँ पर यहाँ ये सारी न्यू बोन है और ये नीचे वाली सारी ओल्ड बोन है सो दिस इज हाउ the bone remodeling happens in the four phases starting from the resorption reversal formation and resting ab um, probably jo aapki kya kehte hain process of bone remodeling hai usko if it it is believed that it is self limiting or there are some signals in the micro environment that um tell the osteoclasts or the osteocytes or the osteoblasts to uh, when to uh, stop uh, remodeling the bone um uh, the bone remodeling basically happens throughout the um uh, throughout life during the uh, early ages of life bone remodeling is happening at a very rapid or fast rate and as the um, individual ages the rate of the remodeling obviously slows down um bilkul isi tarah स्पॉन्जी बोन भी रिजॉर्व करती है न सॉरी रिमॉडल करती है स्पॉन्जी बोन में भी डिफरेंट जोन्स ऑफ रिजॉर्पन बन जाते हैं देन दैट रिजॉर्पन इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू द रिवर्सल देर इज अ रिवर्सल लाइन फॉर्म एंड द लैक्यूने जिस तरह से ऑस्टियॉन्स यहाँ पर रिजॉर्व कर रहे हैं बिल्कुल इसी तरह लैक्यूने के जो हैं वो स्पेसिफिक रीजन्स रिजॉर्व करते हैं एंड देन दे फॉर्म एंड दिस इज हाउ दी सेकेंडरी स्पॉन्जियोज और दी स्पॉन्जी बोन रीमॉडल्स दिस फिगर हेयर शोज दी स्कीमेटिक फिगर ऑफ अ बोन लेट मी गेट हाई लाइटर एंड सर एम सो दैट आई कैन एक्सप्लेन कि क्या हो रहा है दिस रीजन इज द बोन मेट्रिक्स यहाँ पे आपको एम्बेडेड ऑस्टियोसाइट्स नजर आ रहे हैं दिस इज द लाइनिंग ऑफ द बोन जहाँ पे आपको ये फ्लैट बोन लाइनिंग सेल्स नजर आ रहे हैं दिस रीजन बेसिकली इज द रिजॉर्पटिव लैक्यूने और यू कुड से अ कटिंग कोन हैज फॉर्म इन दिस रीजन ठीक है यहाँ पर आपके ऑस्टियोक्लास माइग्रेट होंगे ये मल्टी न्यूक्लियटेड ऑस्टियोक्लास हैं दे वुड रिजॉर्व दिस बोन सर्फेस एंड देन द ऑस्टियो क्लास्ट्स वुड दे फंक्शन वुड इनहेबिट प्रोबेबली बाई दी लिबरेशन ऑफ द एनजाइम्स फॉर फ्रॉम द डिग्रेडेड बोन एंड देन दैट वुड रिजल्ट इन द माइग्रेशन ऑफ द ऑस्टियो ब्लास्ट हेयर ये जो आपको नजर आ रहे हैं मोनो न्यूक्लियर सेल्स दिज ऑस्टियो ब्लास्ट दे सिक्रीट दिस ब्लू सीमेंट लाइन बिटवीन द ओल्ड बोन एंड दी न्यू बोन दिस इज योर ओल्ड बोन और ये आपकी अभी न्यू बोन बनी नहीं है लेकिन यहाँ पर आपकी पूरी एक सीमेंट लाइन सिक्रीट कर देते हैं ऑस्ट्रियोब्लास्ट एंड देन दी ऑस्ट्रियोब्लास्ट दे स्टार्ट सिक्रीटिंग द न्यू ऑस्ट्रियोइड और द न्यू बोन एंड दिस सीमेंट लाइन एक्ट एज अ कोहेसिव बिटवीन द ओल्ड बोन एंड द न्यू बोन ओल्ड बोन इज ऑलरेडी मिनरलाइज एंड द न्यू बोन मिनरलाइज एज इट uh forms so this is how this whole process of um bone remodeling is happening bone remodeling um uh, is a very important university question jaise ki maine lecture ke shuru mein bhi bataya tha most of the times a full fledged um uh, three marks question is asked on the uh, bone remodeling and the question sometimes is uh define bone remodeling enumerate the steps of uh, bone remodeling or you could be asked to uh, explain in detail the steps of the bone remodeling so please go through this uh, topic uh, from the book uh, and if there are any questions please um let me know and i we'll see you guys for the question and answer session of this lecture on saturday at 11 o'clock inshallah allah hafiz